Hey, welcome back, everybody. You know, the beauty of my job is I get to talk to you guys every day for an hour, and I get to meet inspiring and up-and-coming cool people. And Saturday, I got a call about a young lady with a Girl Scout cookie trailer in the car's parking lot at the bar. And that's where I met the 17-year-old who not only had the trailer, she built the purple. She built it as well. And as you'll see, selling cookies is a family affair. Check it out. Hello, have a great day. Thank you. If you build it, they will come. It worked for me. And I came by and got me four boxes of cookies. I'm selling uh, Girl Scout cookies out of my mobile cookie booth. Girl Scout cookies. 17-year-old Kayla Malchoff, she built it. Before, it used to be a 1970s pull-behind prowler before I scrapped it down to the frame and built it from the ground up. It took her about three years to kind of get it to where it's at right now. Yep, 36 months. That's Kayla's mom. She couldn't ask for some more from her daughter. I am very, very proud of her. And these little tag-alongs? Uh, so my mom and younger sister and then my younger brother are in the booth helping. Kayla's cookie creation cart has all the ingredients for success. Stocking up on Girl Scout cookies. Say, so I hope the cookies are still there. Maybe it's the color. I've driven by it before. I I'm attracted to purple. Purple is my favorite color, so yeah, the purple box is the one that I like. Maybe it's tasty yep. cookies and a good business spice. They're great marketing skills. It's very attractive. It's colorful. It was mimicking the idea of a coffee kiosk. Maybe it's a cookie custom. It's tradition to eat Girl Scout cookies. A long time since for Girl Scout cookies. Anytime they come around, I'm there for the cookies. I'm not going to share my addiction on camera. What? <laughs> okay, maybe it's a cookie song. We have cookies, Girl Scout cookies. Maybe it's easy like Sunday morning. It's very convenient for them to just drive up and then get, get their cookies. I don't have to get out of my car. I can drive up like McDonald's and get what I want. Maybe it's too convenient. <laughs> drive up, get your cookies, and go. Entrepreneurial Eureka. Wow. They really give me a lot of compliments of how it's a smart idea and how it's very convenient for them. Maybe it's thinking about the box. Really refreshing to see somebody that takes an expectation to go out and sell your cookies and double times it, triple times it, and quadruples it. Maybe color and cookies are just super cool. Put me on the news. <laughs> Rock and roll, man. Love it. <laughs> cool as a thin mint, Kayla and her cookie hut. Tagalongs, do -si dos lemon ups, thinness. I wanted to support, and why not support with a thin mint? Maybe it's just a warm, gooey family hug and a vision. Putting a dream out there and making it happen and stuff, so. <laughs> Get them before they're gone. We also take card. Jasmine! No maybe about it. Kayla Malchoff is... Hi, my name's Kayla, and I'm a Girl Scout, and I'm selling cookies. Cookie cool. And that's the all good news. They were fun, thanks to them, by the way. And uh, they even have samples if you drive by there. They got one more weekend coming up there in Cars and Debar. Uh, this will be their last weekend. She says they'll be there from 10 to 8 p.m. Saturday and Sunday. And if you're curious, Kayla says over the week, four weekends in March, she'll, she expects to sell, get this, 5,000 boxes of cookies. My favorite, by the way, the new flavor, Adventurefuls, brownie inspired with caramel and just a hint of sea salt. Mwah, yummy. Thanks to those folks for uh, letting me come out there. All right, here's Nora O'Donnell with what's coming up at 5.